My name is Alan Arraic. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. This is part of an informational video series. We will be discussing micron stroke. This is a new scientific term that I coined as part of my scientific paper, the micron stroke hypothesis of Alzheimer's disease and dementia. The scientific paper has much more information in it. However, today we are just going to be concentrating on micron stroke. This is an important tool in your prevention of dementia. When damage comes to the brain, in general, your healthcare team and the medical textbooks will refer to this damage in three different ways. They will talk about massive CVA, which is a big stroke, a TIA, which is considered a mini stroke or transient ischemic attack, and then also a term called silent cerebral ischemia. What I'm going to be reviewing today is a fourth and very exciting way that your brain can be damaged, and this is my term, the micron stroke. First, let us take a look at massive stroke. This is a massive amount of damage to the brain in any way or form that it could happen. TIA, transient ischemic attack, or a mini stroke, has many different descriptions. Committees sit down and try to come up with a proper way to describe. In general, most medical textbooks and your current healthcare team will refer to a mini stroke, or TIA, as an occluded blood vessel that then reopens and neurologic function is restored. Sometimes the neurologic deficits of a mini stroke can last for minutes or an hour, but in general, they will say they will last less than 24 hours. Imaging studies are completed, and usually they will say that there is no damage on the imaging study. My problem with this current concept, as it appears in the medical literature and these textbooks, is that it is very hard to understand what was permanent damage and the brain was able to work around, and what was a blood vessel occluded that reopened restoring neurologic function. Silent cerebral ischemia is where there is damage to the brain that is found. Somebody may have been injured for a different reason. They got in a car accident and a scan of the brain was done and the damage was found. The person had no idea that they had any damage. They never knew that they had a stroke. When this was studied in the scientific literature, they were able to find strokes as large as three centimeters. Now that's 30,000 microns in size. These are pretty significant size damaged areas of the brain that the people had no idea that they even had. Micron stroke. This is my concept. And what you can see here is that the damage to the brain is so small that you never knew it happened and an imaging study of the brain will not show it. It will not be picked up. It will not be picked up in the single or in the tens or maybe even the hundreds. But as you start to approach thousands or many thousands of micron strokes, the damage to the brain is going to be very easy to be picked up. This is my example of a micron stroke. This is eight microns. Now you can see the size of one of the smallest arteries in the brain. A blockage of this artery is probably going to go unnoticed. Next you can see this is the size of a little larger artery in the brain, but still these are very tiny arteries. It is still very likely that damage of this amount is going to go unnoticed by you and unnoticed by any type of scan that is completed. You are seeing here the very first size that can be picked up by current MRIs. The radiology team is very likely to ignore something of this size. These are considered small and unknown. They have not been well studied and they're not sure what the effect of these are. What you see here is the size of damage to the brain that is usually excluded. When a scientific study is completed that is looking at the amount of damage to the brain or they're looking at strokes, anything smaller than this is generally excluded. Here you can see the size of a small stroke. This is 5,000 microns. As you compare the size of this into what is your brain, you're able to see that even though this is a small stroke, a significant amount of damage to the brain could have occurred. We have more information to review. That will be our next video. My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. Thank you for watching.